Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 13 of Direwolf20's Space Engineers series. I'm just getting ready to build some cool stuff that you guys haven't seen before. At least not in my videos. You might have seen them before in the world, but no, no not in my videos yet. New things today. Uh, so I'm just getting this guy locked into position. Boom, dock, lock, and good. Refill that internal inventory, please. With as many bulletproof glass and steel plate as you can. Nice. Looks like uh, that looks pretty good. So we'll unlock that guy. So if we come over here and check, we should uh, have basically just cleared out all our steel plates. But more is getting produced. Don't worry. Same for bulletproof glass. Good. Uh, that's going on over here. I should really adjust these numbers to match these numbers, but I'll get to that later-ish. How am I doing? Ooh. I'm actually low on iron. I'm a little bit low on iron. I should probably go mining soon. Oh well. Eventually. Soon-ish. Uh, what do I want to do today? I want to continue working on my welding bay. So this is going to be a room, as we mentioned last episode, where I'm going to build stuff. And uh, basically ships and all that good stuff. So we've already seen how to build a ship from scratch as a player and welding it with, you know, individual blocks at a time and how slow and painful that can be. But now we wanted to upgrade and we built the basic welder. And we brought that in from, uh, you know, our world. Looks like he took a little bit of damage. I'm fixing that up. Um, and then we decided to get an even better welder. Oh yeah, this guy is awesome. But there's some other ships we're going to want to get. And you know what? Having all of our stuff inside a welding ship is all well and good for when you want to like build stations and whatnot. But if we want to build a lot of drones, maybe it would be cool to go ahead and build it in this room right here. So that's what I want to work on today. So one of the first things I want to build in this room uh, is a door. Because that sounds like fun. So we're going to build a uh, door right here. So there's a couple kinds of doors that I want to demonstrate to you. There's one I want to show you that's vanilla. And then there's a modded one, which I think is awesome. And I want to show you to you. Um, so let's do this. Uh, the first door, airtight hanger door. Cool. So this is the door that comes straight out of the gate. Part of vanilla, part of the game. So let's go ahead and pop this dude right here and you'll see when you go to place it we're going to need steel plates components small steel tube computer and motor cargo these guys what else did i need construction components small steel tube and motor small steel tube and motor Get some computers going on, small steel tubes. Do I need more than 100 or anything? A lot of steel plates, but I'll do that part with this guy. Dire Welder V3, let's fly over and get ready to weld what I want to weld, because I don't have enough inventory to carry this all. Whoosh. So out of the box, AKA non-modded, you get this nifty block right here, and I'm gonna rotate him around. The uh, part that you can see is the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna snag all that stuff in there. Cool. What am I missing? Just a few more construction components. I thought I grabbed, oh, you know what? I didn't have inventory for them. That was my problem. All right, let's get this thing built. So this is your airtight hangar door. These are the doors you wanna use for your hangers, AKA this room that I've got right here. Now this could be recessed into the floor, so that would be right there. Uh, the airtight hangar doors are cool. Um, so if I go into my platform, we've got some options. Toggle block on and off, show in terminal, show in tool bar, and whether or not it's open or closed. If it's closed, it looks like this, whoosh. So you can see it extends about three blocks, right? So open, it's one block. Closed, it's three blocks. And what you could imagine is another airtight hangar door going down from there. And then they would meet in the middle, and that would be cool. It's good. Um, in fact, let's close it before I break it down. Airtight hangar door closed. Or open, I guess. Yeah. There you go. It's definitely a cool looking block. I like it, but 
I think I can do a little bit better. And that's modded. So there's a really cool modded block I want to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this junk into here for now. Even though you don't typically carry those components, but that's alright, you might need them in a minute. Let's take a look at some glass doors. Um, there's a lot of options available. So there's uh, the one in particular that I'm looking at is Glass Bridges. So this is a mod that adds, basically, it took what airtight hangar doors can do, but did them a little bit differently. So let's take a look. I'm going to start with eight and see how that looks. So I'm going to put them here. I like to put them on the outside. and I'm going to rotate it around and then weld it up. Let's get that welded in place. Dire welder. We can just turn the welders on. Cool. And then what more do I need for this guy? Just a few more small steel tubes. So obviously more components, but he's also going to extend a little bit further, as you'll see. Whoosh. So he just looks really cool, in my opinion. And this is what you'll find with a lot of mods, is typically they take what already exists in the game and uh, just does things a little differently. So that's a 1x8. So you notice that when we went into our G menu here, there's a 1x3 all the way up to a 1x9. So if we went to our platform, and we went to our glass bridge, and we closed it. Oh, oh, oh look at that. That is cool, isn't it? I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. So that's what it looks like. Oh, that's neat. So I want to have a bunch of these. Um, 1x8 seems to be good. I'm pretty sure that that will be airtight. I'm almost positive, like almost 100% sure that that will be airtight in the way that we're seeing it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that's, yeah, how I want to do it. So let's make more of these. So we're going to rotate this around. So I need more steel plates. Luckily, I have those on hand. So I want to put them across here, right? So that'll go all the way across there, and I'm going to put them across here as well. Perfect. Okay. Um, now the other thing I might want to do is put them on our roof, right? So that, if I were to put one here, you can kind of see a visual representation of how it's going to look. I'm going to rotate it around like this. And if I put my mouse cursor here, I should be able to see where it can reach to. So the eight reaches to here. Is that almost the middle-ish? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that includes that, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I were to get the one by seven and put it here, there we go. See how there's like a block here and you can see that there's actually stuff that extends. So there's actually blocks here, they're just invisible, right? And you, you, they, you can also walk through them, but they technically exist, so you can't put another block in its way. Otherwise this thing's gonna have a problem, right? So these two together should work out pretty well. So let's, cause I wanna have a roof on this place. So let's get this thing welded. I'm going to go off camera for a minute and get a bunch of ingredients that I need to weld some things, and then we'll be back. As you can see, obviously, by the way, lots and lots of stuff um, is required. So in fact, I'm gonna grind you down a little bit to get some of my steel blades back. And I'm gonna put all eights over here. Because I wanna basically be able to seal the roof and the front door. I know my energy's low, calm down. Um, and then, like I said, we'll come back in a moment after I've welded this, because it's going to take me a minute to get all the components needed to weld it. But once done, we should have a pretty awesome welding bay. Yeah. So I want the ceiling to open and the front door to open. All right. Back in a minute, I'm going to go over here, and while my suit recharges, I can control my drone, because... We have an antenna on the platform. I can now control my drone. Woot. 
And like I said, be right back. So quick side note, I got about five minutes into welding and ran out of iron. So just went and did a little bit of mining, filled up my cargo holds with lots of iron, and I'm gonna let my refineries take care of that. Coming in for a docking. Deep, a little bit so hard to deal with the momentum that you get when flying. <laughs> Especially I need I need a little bit stronger of thrusters. Also, angles are deceiving in space. Locked? Good. Engaged. Backlog. Oh, we don't have an ore backlog. That's right. I got rid of that, didn't I? Well, all my stuff's empty, so I assume all the ore went into the refiners. Should probably reinstate an ore backlog inventory, but we'll see. For now, let's check our ore processing LCD to see how much ore we got and how much we're making. Nice, 212k of iron. That is cool. You can see we're refining it pretty well, actually. Beautiful. And then you should be running again. More steel plates are populating. That's what I want to see. Nice. I'm going to help it along by having these guys do a little bit of work. More steel plates, please. I want, like, a lot. All right, back to welding and building, and we'll come back in a minute. All right, guys, I feel like I have made some progress. I've got a lot of the doors here. So let's go to our control panel for our platform, and we're going to take a look. And you'll notice that there's a lot of glass bridges here, right? Um, so let's take a look at all the 1x7s that are thus far built. And I'm going to call this block group hangar door. And if I hit them to closed, and also I want to show block and terminal off because I don't want them in there because obviously there's a ton. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. So let's do this. Platform, hangar door. It's actually going to be part of the roof. So that plus all the incomplete ones are part of the roof. Cool. So those will be show block and terminal off. And then the glass bridges, the 1x8 one ones, those will be hanger door save. So let's give this thing a try. Uh, the front door and the left side are done. The right side I'm waiting for components to be built. So let's try it. So platform, we're going to do hanger door closed. Ooh, look at that it is cool how awesome is that huh I like it I like it a lot um, and then the roof is gonna be similar so what I can do here control panel for the platform hangar door open so we can have the hangar door closed but then when we're ready we to launch a ship we just hit hangar door open and he can fly out I like it quite a bit as a matter of fact uh, let's go to our platform now get our connector remember the orange one is the one that's on a different grid so that's how we know this connector is the one that's actually on the ship that's docked toggle it off and then I should be able to go to my welder 3 remote control and weld up the last components um, I changed the the name of this ship um, the cargo container so that I could easily put construction components, motors, and small steel tubes in here, because you need a lot of all of those. Might have enough. It's looking like it's going to be tight, but I think I'll pull it off. Nice. So you are built, which means I'm going to bring you back in for a landing. Whoosh. you dock it and um, let's see cargo this guy right yes it's handy to have like a little scratch pad where you have um, you know copied and pasted some of the standard formats of things you want so I remember this guy 
we're going to overwrite with that. And now when we check our inventory, you'll see that it was replaced with girders, bulletproof glass, and steel plates. By the way, I need more silicon, but that's a problem for another day because I now have a roof to go play with. Do, 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 do. Shall we try it out? So, platform, hangar roof, closed. Oh, that is cool, huh? I like it. I really like it. And, hangar door closed. Nice. Cool, right? I definitely, uh, I'm digging it. Okay, so let's leave this as is. Um, and come back in a minute because now I'm gonna wanna build the welding system. So let's go to our platform, hang a roof, we'll open them both. Maybe I wanna put some cool stuff in here, but maybe not yet. Maybe in a bit we'll check out some cool stuff we can do. For now, I wanna design how I'm gonna do my stuff. So I'll be right back. So I'm gonna build the foundation of what I wanna have here. So clearly we're gonna to want to connect the building bay to our main network. And the reason for this is pretty obvious. If we have the building bay connected to our main network, it can access all the items that are in the cargo containers down in that room, which means anything we build in this welding bay can draw components from the inventory we have on the station. No more needing to dock ships and stuff. Now, obviously if I wanna build rooms and stuff like we're still gonna to wanna to use our welding ships, but any drones that we wanna build or other smaller ships can be built in this welding bay and we don't have to worry about it. How cool is that? So I wanna kinda of find the center spot here if I can. So I feel like these two blocks are the center, so I'll go with this one just because, why not? Um, so let's kinda of just do this. I'm thinking maybe three blocks up. We're gonna want this can probably come up the side here, so let's just... Put it here, right? So I'm actually pretty darn close to where I should be. Right? Yeah, so let's put this guy here. We'll rotate him around. There we go, and then... This pipe can come out this way. Now this room's really only gonna need one connection, so we should be fine as is. And we'll let this guy probably go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change up stuff. I want my grinder. Character tools, grinder here. We'll do conveyor. Goodness, I can't grab things today. And then the small conveyor here. That's better, okay. Nope, that was one out. So this thing will come up to the roof here. And then probably right up to about here. I'm hoping this is high enough. And then I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna try it. I might have to move this and you'll see why in a minute. So that's gonna be a connector or a conveyor there, right? So here's what we wanna do. We want to have access and we want to have a line of welders that can come in from the roof and weld things. Does it have to be this complex? No, but I think it's going to look cool. And this is just kind of a fun build for me. So that's what we're going to do. So because we want our uh, welders to extend all the way across here, we're going to want to build a piston. So let's check out what piston options we have. Okay, uh, we have a regular old vanilla piston and then we have a piston long. Let's try both of these and see how they go. So a regular piston will extend out from here. That's it in its most basic state, I think. Yeah, so unlike the doors, we can't check how far it's gonna extend without actually building it. But 
maybe we can just build it real quick. So I need construction components, large steel tube, motors, and computers. Cargo, construction components, large steel tubes. I know I needed about four of them, but I'm gonna try and fit 10 in my inventory. Nope. Motors and computers. Because I wanna try and adjust and do the long one as well, just to get an idea of how far they can extend. So remember, pistons can connect to the tubing network that we've been using a lot, right? So that's an important thing. I need a few more large steel tubes. No problemo. I actually don't need them, need them. So we should be able to test this by going here, hitting up our piston. This guy. And I'm gonna set the velocity to one just to speed it up one and a half reverse, cool. So let's see how far out this thing extends into our hangar bay. So if we had one piston up here, right? Imagine welders hanging off the top of this guy, right? So that they could extend out and weld anything underneath them. That's definitely not far enough. Energy low, Max. So let's try piston long, because I know that this thing's like a lot longer. Unfortunately, the piston long doesn't have need a few more large steel tubes. Um, doesn't have a great texture. So if this doesn't work out, I have another option that I might want to try. Let's get this thing put together real quick. And again, the reason that this is all black like this is that this mod doesn't have a DirectX 11 compatibility. So let's just do this. Platform. Energy Reverse. Low. So the piston we saw a minute ago was part of the original game. This piston is part of a mod. So this definitely reaches, actually reaches really far. Piston long is an appropriate name for this thing. But I wanna try one more thing. Let me get a few components here and we'll be right back. So here's another option. Let's set these guys to be about two velocity and reverse them. How far does this go? So now two pistons, right? One there and one there, both extending. And that reaches pretty darn close to far enough. I think I'm going to go with this method and we'll see how it works. And I might tweak it, but we'll uh, see. And then on this guy, I want to have another connector, conveyor, doohickey. And from there, I want another piston. And the piston will have the welders on it. Notice how the welders have doors on one or either side. So I want this to actually be a line of welders. That's gonna look something like this. Like that. And like that. Now remember when I said this might be too short? This door can't close. So he needs to actually be a little bit lower. Let's do this platform. I wanna try this pistons reverse. So they'll be able to reverse back and go back and forth across the whole room. And this piston here lets them go up and down. Neat, right? So the only thing is I need to shrink this up a little bit or actually make it a little bit taller. So I'll come back in a minute once I've done that. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. That is darn close. That's funny, it actually lifts it up a little bit. Check that out when we open and close the roof. Hang a roof, open. It like nudges it. <laughs> That's kind of cool actually. 
Um, I guess that's okay. Like, I really... I could rotate these. So that the roof is actually... Instead of being on the top of the block, on the bottom of the block. That would give me more room so that it doesn't, like, bump into them. Let's see. There... there. Let's close the roof again. Well, yep, yeah, nope, that's a problem. <laughs> that one's a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna raise it up one. This looks pretty good. I just want to test this guy going up and down. One of my tricks that I do, by the way, is when I can't hold the inventory of something, like if I wanted to grind down a full piston, I just place another one real close by in the world and put the parts on it so that when I'm ready to weld it, I have them sitting right there. Just a little trick that I do every now and then. It works pretty well. So let's say that we wanted to do some stuff. Just gonna test it with one piston for now. I don't think I have the components to make another one. So I could go get one real quick if I wanted to. Probably just need motors and large steel tubes. All right, let's just, let's do this full test. Cargo, motors, and large steel tubes. So you're well built. You're going together now. You're gonna be short a few steel tubes, but you'll be fine. Okay, so even though it's not welded, let's test this. So first, we're going to open the roof. Hang a roof, open. Nice. Um, and then from here, we're going to want to control our pistons. So I'm gonna call this piston vertical. Yeah, I think that's the proper vertical. And then this guy can be piston horizontal two, piston horizontal one. Cool. And now when I block group these, one and two can be piston, we'll call them weld pist horizontal, weld pist vert. Cool. Um, and we're going to make their velocity right about one. We'll see how that goes. So now the one other thing we're going to want to do with this vertical, I'm going to set its maximum distance to be a five. And we're going to reverse him and see how far he goes down. Good time for energy to be low. Platform, piston, vertical. Oh, he extended to his max distance already? That's five? Okay, so let's do 10. That should be pretty darn close to good, I wanna say. Wish I could test this real quick. I'll come back in a minute. Let me get my energy sorted out. All right, so first I'm making a welder's block group. Cool, so those all are welders. And um, I'm gonna make sure that they're on. All right, so welders. Blocks off, blocks on. You can tell it's on by the red. So here's a trick. If you want to know how far your range is, F11 brings up a debug menu. Um, it's not like there's much you can do in here that's too crazy. There's um, some errors you can check out and there's some other things, but the very most useful point of this, um, mount points, I don't even know what that does really. Model dummies, I don't know what that does either. But enable debug draw is a really nice one because it'll give you a debug screen to see the range that your welders are welding. So we can see that this thing welds in the following area, which because he's a twin welder, he welds a lot larger of an area than a vanilla welder would. Um, and we can tell that he's actually welding underneath our platform, which is cool. I'm gonna come over here and see if I can actually see it under the platform a little bit. Yeah, I can, nice. So technically when the pistons are fully extended, I could probably take damage under here. I'm pretty sure it's like just barely hitting. 
maybe close. But, ow, there it is. Ouch. <laughs> so, yeah. That means that our stuff can completely... Oh, look, there we go. Debug draw. Neat. Okay, so let's turn those off. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can get my corpse. I probably can't. I think it got caught in the gravitational field, and he's probably somewhere down this way. Oh, well. Corpse gone forever. Sorry, dire corpse. Let's, uh... Now, debug draw is off. I just want to check from the side. I'm pretty sure he'll be able to weld everything in here. Debug draw. Yeah. So, like, right up against the very edge here, you can sneak by without getting hit. But I just wouldn't be placing anything in this block space. But right here, like, we'll see. Um, I need steel plates. Hang on. I'll demonstrate this in a moment. With the debug draw and all that cool stuff. So let's get some steel plates and check this out. So this welder should weld the steel plate automatically for me. In theory. Oh, right, because it's uh, not connected to the system. He has no, uh, he has no inventory. Ouch, ouch, dying again. All right, time to stop playing around. Let's, uh, I'm going to go weld those pipes and everything, and then we'll be right back. So debug draw, neat little feature to use if you want to make sure. And while I'm at it, platform welders off. Much better. All right, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to weld everything between this episode and next. And then we'll come back next episode. We will do some cool stuff. What are we going to do? Um, we're going to see this thing working. And then we're going to use it to build a new ship. Well, it probably won't be a totally new ship, but it'll be a new ship. Um, yes, so lots of welding to be done between episodes. I'll come back next time, and we'll have a little bit of fun with this. So for now, Direwolf20 signing off on the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product that we've got going on here, because it's going to be, in my personal opinion, pretty darn cool. All right, guys. Take it easy.